What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the 6th episode of Adaption Shion Laura. This one's titled White Album. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice has kind of been shot today because of uh, Akadama Drive and Higurashi. I've been talking a lot today. Um, but yeah, White Album, uh, I believe is a visual novel, a harem-based visual novel, and then subsequent anime series as well. I uh, never watched it, but I've heard, that, I've heard good things about it in that it's not your usual take on the harem genre. So... I'm. I might go back and watch those at some point because that that intrigues me. Because that's what I thought Rent a Girlfriend was going to be an interesting take on the harem genre, and then it just evolved into every other harem genre me thing ever. But anyway, last time we uh, saw a bit more of the inner workings of uh, Shimomura's mind and how she approaches uh, not just like relationships as uh, is technically being posed to her here. Also, just friendships in general, and how she keeps a certain distance between people. She's she has a comfortable distance that she maintains with people that she's close to uh, for friendships. And they did a very stylized thing of um, uh, like the the blue shaded out look on uh, everybody that she just didn't really care for or acknowledge even. Uh, and we saw Adachi start to enter that zone because whilst it's true she's distant with people. And obviously she doesn't care about them. I could honestly say I'm kind of similar in my way of thinking. Like, if I don't know you, there's very little empathy I have towards you unless you actually... Like, I don't care for people that are too far away from me. I know that sounds really horrible, but, like, I just don't worry about things in a weird way. Anyway, um, but also when people get too close to her, she's not comfortable with that. She doesn't like getting too close and attached to someone presumably based on what happened to this friend of hers that we um um kind of explored a little bit this uh, friend that was uh, was very attached to her but until she found like something shiny like a uh some specific thing she listed off that's the only time she'd ever leave her side right so they talk about her attitude as she was a kid versus now something happened back then and i guess we'll explore it later on but it's gonna be interesting and then we also had Adachi working up the courage to ask Shimomura out on Christmas, which in Japan has a much more romantic connotation than I think it does here in the West, at least generally speaking from what I know, uh, my experience. Uh, Christmas is like Christmas is like a family day. You, like Everyone knows Christmas dinner, you know, Christmas morning, the presents for kids. But as a couple's relationship thing, I've never really heard of it as such. Like, okay, the girlfriends I've had, yes, we've wanted to spend Christmas together. Like, it's just an it's another holiday in that regard. Like, I don't think it was anything particularly special. At least they never made it out to be, nor did I ever make it out to be something particularly special to spend Christmas together. It was just nice if we managed to find time to do so. Uh, but in Japan, apparently, it's a major deal and has been shown in many anime to be a major deal as well. Um, so major that they speak around it. To the point, it's like, um, would you happen to be free on the day uh, that is approximately the 12th month, uh, if you're going in uh, chronological order, on around about day 25 or so of said month, which happens to be somewhat of a, an occasion where we might be able to share free time. Like, it's that sort of speaking around it. I, I'll actually have to look at the uh, exact transcript of what they said, because it was actually pretty good. Um, but now we have a Christmas day, which I assume is what we're going to be going on here. Um, and we'll see kind of what happens there, because I don't think this show is going to get our characters together before the end. Having spent enough time with the show now that we're almost halfway through, I don't think this is the type of romance that will push them together, and then we experience what it's like to be in a relationship. I don't think this is the type of show to do it, which is a shame, because that is my preferred form of romance show, but it's far more common to have this type where... Over time, they develop the feelings for each other and then finally get together around about the end. At least I hope they get together at the end because, my God, that would be an unsatisfying finale if they're not even together by the end. But we'll see. Especially if they don't confirm a second season or anything. So, with that said, uh, as per usual, these are time-based format reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the time for the episode. I'll count you down 3, 2, 1, play. Now on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. Watch this one on Funimation as per usual since they've licensed it this season. They've licensed every show this season, basically. Um, honestly, they've, they've nailed it this season. Uh, we've got Funimation logo to start, which is only about 7 seconds, for those of you keeping track. You also use the screen flash on my face, or the mic to tell when season transitioning as well. Picture-in-picture -picture versions are coming next season. Kind of, sort of, kind of. Stay tuned on Discord for more on that. Anyway, 
let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In three, two, one, play. Animation logo, cheers to that. Here we go. Starting with uh, Dachi. Right, but you want it to be. But you want it to be. You're just being realistic with yourself. You wouldn't really know. This is the first time you've... No, there is no right way to celebrate. A myth to make us all feel better, probably. I mean, you've got to figure it out, because you're in charge of planning for this. <laughs> oh, she's at work, okay. The hell was that? <laughs> yep, immediately. And OP time. What was the manager doing? Like, what, what was that? <laughs> Just unexpected. Anyway. I need to go through... This is something I'm going to do. I don't know if I can make a video out of it or not, but I need to go through all the shows this season, find all the OP CDs that are absolute bangers and add them to my playlist. Because, like, I'm fairly certain I'm missing a lot of them on my phone playlist. Like, for example, um, I can already tell, Dora Hedero. I don't have any of those songs on my phone for some reason, despite them all being bangers. So, that goes all the way back to winter. So... I've obviously not done it for the other seasons either. But this is going on this players for sure. It's a lot of fun. All right, here we go, the little shrine. <laughs> I think that was a fair definition of date. Date would imply romantic intentions, and I think you definitely have romantic intentions. Present is very important, I think. But what do you get her? What do you get Shimamura? I mean, okay, the friends. Just friends, rather. The other one's not here. <laughs> that is true. Uh. That's true. Mm hmm. Okay. Figured as much. Okay. Books are okay, so something mundane. T shop, okay. Does she have an interest in tea? Oh ho ho. Hmm, that's a lead. Probably not. Enter the mine palace. <laughs> not 
when they come. Yep. That's all that much. Uh-huh. Let's go visit the tea shop. Aha. Uh -huh. Part of the day on Christmas, go to the tea shop if it's open. That's part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Very perceptive. Mm hmm. What's this? <laughs> I like how we're developing those two alongside of this as well. Yeah, they are. No closer than normal friends, according to them, though. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. I had a thought. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Yeah, let's leave school first. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just for the sake of appearances, probably. <laughs> uh. I think it's that bizarre. I think she is just not for the same reason as you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is the shelf. Are we gonna have any luck with this? So many. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Legend of Africa? Interesting. Is that the name of the shop or the name of the brand? Yep. Oh, interesting. Huh. I wonder who invited who out there. Hmm. wonder what they're doing. Hmm. That might drive a little bit of a wedge in this. <laughs> Finally, a character that doesn't want to stalk each other. Yeah, it's awkward now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you want to ask.
I wonder what the real reason they were going around for. Hmm. Wow. That's both cute and kind of sad at the same time. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. What agreement? Who did you make an agreement with? <laughs> Little she will okay. Okay, we're just playing recorder. Oh boy. <laughs> I remember playing the recorder before. Almost discount time. Okay. I don't know if that's alien speak, but it's something. Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, you mentioned Christmas in a very roundabout way, but you do mention it. Sure about that? <laughs> no response. <laughs> she is adorable and puppy like, I love it. <laughs> cool beans. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just don't oversleep. <laughs> Oh, Christmas is only about a month away as well. It's crazy. Despite this year, it's gone really quick. What's she wearing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that her work outfit that she's wearing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There it is again. <laughs> that one's not like awesome. Possibly. Mmm. I know how I feel. Go for the hand holes. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit, that's a line to drop. And it's making her think, yeah. Mm. Ooh, okay. Air hockey, okay. Similar but different. Hmm. <laughs> you play the video game, but okay. Yeah, boy's getting angry. <laughs> Is she? <laughs> How you like them apples? I don't know. Benny said that's not what he said, but thank you. Thank you, whoever did that uh, um, subtitling. Uh, uh. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> That's a real possibility. But she doesn't want to think about it right now. Is it the right one? Is it? Or is she just playing it off? <laughs> okay. Yep. The bats, yay. What? Oh. Oh, wow. What is it? What is it? Wait, what the hell is it? <laughs> Why a boomerang? <laughs> <laughs> That's why she was out as well. They were both trying to get presents for each other. Why? Uh. Oh, and that's why. <laughs> uh. Bizarre, but okay.
it's never going to get thrown. It's going to go up by the can. <laughs> yeah, the fact that it came from her, that, that was what's important. Okay, so we're getting credits over the episode. Cool. Oh, we are going to throw it. How, how poorly is this going to go? Yeah, boomerangs tend to come back. Not bad for a first try. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, you're going to say something? Oh shit. Please don't physically fall on your face. Come on, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Say it. Say it. Say it. She's not going to be able to say it. Maybe? No, he's not going to say it. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Oh, okay. That's still progress. <laughs> I mean, sh that's still progress. <laughs> that's fair okay I get what they're going for that's why they established it at the beginning hmm. still going to be a good memory though and of course the snow starts falling Mm-hmm. There we go. Next time on. Oh, best chocolate. Oh, he no got a tan. Ooh, chip curry. Alright. That was good. All right, so looks like we're going to have some more Hino and uh, Nagafuji scenes as well, which is great, because I like that they're developing both of them simultaneously. Uh, chicken curry. Hell yes. Um, okay. But choose the best chocolate for me. So I guess we're going to be... Are we fast-forwarding to Valentine's Day? Because I would, I would associate picking chocolates and such... I would associate that with Valentine's Day, not necessarily Christmas, um, but possibly. But yeah, I suppose, yeah, that makes sense what the ending was there, because Hino you know, has not confronted Nagafuji about uh, why she was out. Um, Adachi obviously now knows, because Shimura was going with uh, to pick out a present for what she said was a little sister, but ultimately ended up being a dachi. Of course, a boomerang is like, okay. 
but you can see how Shimura is taking similar steps as Adachi, but is putting that extra bit of distance between them. They're both kind of approaching in a similar way, but there is still that extra distance on Shimura, which I think will start coming closer and closer and closer as the series goes on. So, yeah, I'm, I think it's fairly set in my mind now that this series will not conclude with a love confession, if at all, until episode 11 or 12. Almost certainly. Uh, now, I wonder if that's going to be accelerated at all for Hina Nagafuji. Probably not. Um, but it's interesting to see them develop at the same time as well, so I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, it, it enjoyable episode. Very cute. Uh, I love these two together. I'm glad that um, Alien, was it Yashiro? Was that her name? Yes, Yashiro. I'm glad she's taking more of a backseat here. Like, I appreciate the little extra scenes that she gets because she's an interesting character and she's a funny character. But I'm glad that after episode three, three, uh, they kind of stepped back her involvement just a little bit uh, because it was getting, it was a bit too intrusive for her episode. But again, it was like I had hoped. It was just to build her character up and probe a little bit of jealousy in there that Adachi was feeling and make her come to the realization, I'm jealous when she's around other people. That's because I want to be with her that much. Why do I want to be with her that much? Because I romantically involved, want to be involved with her. So it was good for the sake of Adachi to have that moment. Possibly Shimomura, although, again, we're not seeing so much Shimomura's perspective on a lot of this. We're seeing it from Adachi's point of view. And we need to see Shimomura and how she's reacting to the whole Christmas thing as time goes on, which maybe we will do this time around. I don't know. But it'll be interesting to see. But another good episode. I'm very much enjoying this. This is a good romance show so far. Like I said, it does fall into the confession slash kiss type trope by the end of the season, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just I'm a little... It becomes a little stale after a while, which is why I like romances like Tonikawa, where they're like, okay, let's just have the characters married immediately. Or <coughs> in a relationship from the very beginning... That allows us to explore the relationship itself rather than getting to the relationship, which is hashed out and just kind of overdone in most romance stories. So I appreciate shows like that a bit more often, like Oromonogatri said it before. But still, absolutely loving it. And seeing their moments together is all just absolutely perfect, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as per usual. Uh, leave a like if you did, as well as your comments on what you thought of the episode and how it's going. I know that we're at the halfway point. And don't forget to subscribe to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the full 2020 life you can find on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.